What's up everybody, it's Parker with BI Elite. I have an awesome video today showing you how to set up row level security on measures. So this is going to allow you to hide or show certain measures and calculations depending on the user role that's viewing the report. So for example, I have three measures here, cost, quantity, and revenue, but I also have a few roles set up. So basically the finance role should only be able to see the cost and revenue field. So if I click on that role, I can see only cost and revenue. But if I were to view the role as a warehouse manager, that person should only be able to see the quantity. So you can see that we will filter down to just quantity. And I also have a third role, that's VP, with no restrictions on the measures that uh, he or she should see. So if I click on VP, we can now see all three of our measures show up. I've also posted the info on how to set this up in my blog. So check out the BI Elite blog, link down in the description. So I actually have two different methods on how to do this. The first method is kind of this dynamic measure that I've kind of shown you in the past before. So everything on the page is going to be specific to the measure selection, but I also have a static view that's just showing three different, um, three different visuals here with three different measures and we can filter down what they should see based on the measure level. So I'm gonna walk you through each of those different kind of ways to set this up. So I'm gonna stop viewing as the VP and kind of show you my setup here. So the first thing that you need to do to set this up, this dynamic method, is to create a table called measure selection or really anything you wanna call it, but it's going to be a column uh, that is just the names of the measures that you want to include in your selections. So I have cost, revenue, and quantity, and that table is going to populate uh, this slicer here. So this is just a slicer with that column, measure selection, measure. And just to tell you how I created that table, I literally just went to inner data and I named this table uh, measure selection. The column name was measure. And then you just have to type in cost, quantity, revenue, any other uh, measures that you'll need in your report. Click load and then you'll have that table throw that column into the slicer, then you have this slicer. And then everything here is based off of a measure I created called selected metric. And this selected metric is a uh, basically a switch measure, a dynamic measure. So it's switch true, and then simply selected value, uh, measure selection measure, so what we created in that table, equals cost. Then I wanna sum the cost. Uh, selected value of the measure selection measure is revenue. I'll sum the revenue. Same thing for quantity. And if I uh, don't have any selections, I will simply default to sum of cost. So that's just a dynamic measure. I've done this plenty of times in, on my channel in the past. Um, that's nothing new here. But what is new is going to the modeling tab, clicking on manage roles and creating roles. And this is how you're going to filter down your measure selections depending on the role. So for example, I've created a finance role and on the measure selection table, I have specifically said that the measure column should equal cost or the measure column should equal revenue. Uh, for the VP, you can see that I don't have anything filtered on the measure selection table. In the warehouse role, I have my measure selection table filtered down to where the column named measure equals quantity. So using these roles, I'm actually filtering down my measure selection table. So for example, uh, for our warehouse team, we should, uh, they should only see the quantity. So my measure selection table will look like that. So when only quantity is showing up in this measure selection table, that person will only be able to see the quantity. So just as another example, I'll view as that warehouse role, and you can see that person will only see the quantity uh, measure selection. So it's awesome, it's dynamic. Basically you can set up as many roles as you want with as many different calculations as you want. That's kind of the, the dynamic method. I'm gonna go ahead and show you maybe a, a more normal method with a static method. So I'm still viewing as a warehouse manager. You can see I have quantity shown in this visual here, whereas cost and revenue are actually blank. So if I stop viewing without a role, you can see every single visual. The difference in this method is these are all individual uh, measures. So we have a cost, quantity, and revenue measure. So this first visual has the cost measure, the second visual has the revenue measure, and the third visual has the quantity measure. So what actually uh, makes up this measure is a little bit different, kind of similar to our selected metric, but you do it like this. So you can use a switch or an if statement. So I use switch true, and then you can just say cost is in our values of our measure selection measure column. We'll sum the cost 
if it's not included in our measure selection measures, I return blank. So this is also very similar to the previous setup. So for example, when I view as a finance, uh, someone from the finance team, I'll click OK. And we can see our quantity is now blanked out because you can think about it as our measure selection table only shows us our cost and revenue fields. So quantity is not included. So if we go look at the quantity uh, uh, DAX here, we can see that quantity is not included in our measure selection measure values. Therefore, we return blank. So now our entire visual here is showing blank. So in case you didn't want to change your existing Power BI report too much, you can basically just show blanks for all the visuals that that person should not be able to see. Um, so this is really cool, really dynamic. I hope you see the value in setting something up like this. If you like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you check out the blog and subscribe there, and I will see you in the next video.